All right, what's up guys? So this week I want to go into polynomials. Now, if you remember my nonlinear fitting polynomial fitting video, I actually went into this library a little bit, but I thought that this week I would go into it deeper because I think it's a really cool library to go into. So if that all sounds cool to you, please give this video a like and subscribe and let's get into this. Okay, so starting off in my main function, you can see I have this xlin, which I'll be using later, that's for plotting. And then here I have two polynomials that I'm generating in two different ways. So this first one I'm generating by coefficients, and this one I'm generating it by roots. I'm just gonna run it right now so we can see what it looks like. All right, so down here, you can see by coefficients, it literally just plugs in the values. So one gets times x to the zero, plus three times x to the one, plus five times x squared, so it would, this would generate a quadratic. This is generating from roots, so you're saying I have three roots, and I wanna generate a polynomial if these were the three roots, so this is a cubic. You can see, this one's a bit tougher to see, you have to actually factor this out, but this is the, the cubic version of this polynomial. Now, working with these, we can do the, the basic stuff, where if you want to just evaluate it at some value, you can insert a value and it will answer it. So plugging in two to polynomial P, you can see two squared is four, four times five is 20, plus six, 26, plus one, 27. So it solves that out pretty well. Other things that I can do that are pretty cool is symbolic math. So if we want to just add these two polynomials together, we can get this new polynomial from the addition of the previous two. And it can also handle other computations such as multiplication. So two times P minus Q, we'll handle all that. And then it will generate a whole new polynomial based off of that computation. Now that's all really cool. It can do other things such as derivatives. So, Let's say we want to do a derivative of p, and once again, it's going to generate a whole new polynomial. All these, you see me printing out this, this is the, the polynomial object, which is what interprets what computation you're doing with it. So this object allows you to insert a value it and evaluate it, or if you're trying to just add two polynomials together, then it'll work with that new object or whatever. So in this case, I did the derivative of p, and if we go up a little bit, uh, okay, well, there it is. There's P. So 3 times 3 plus 10x. 3 plus 10x. Okay. And as you can see, if I can do derivatives, I can also do integrals. And this one's a bit tougher to see, but we had 1, so 1x. This is now 3 divided by 2, 3 divided by 2, and then 5 divided by 3, which is that. All right, so roots. Roots is another cool thing. It's also a thing that we use a lot in math. And let's say we want to find the roots of Q. Now we know before we, we actually designed this polynomial by roots, so we should get the same values. You can see we got negative 3.99999, 0.99999, and 4, which this is basically what we put in. So 1, 1, negative 4, negative 3.9, and then 4, 4. So this is a little bit off because this actually solves out Q. So if there's a little bit of error, this is what's showing it. But in truth, this is essentially what, what we put in. Okay, that is the bulk of what this library can do. It has other specialty polynomials such as Lorenz and some other ones. But okay, let's let's put some application to this. So I have this question here, what are the roots and extrema of Q? So we actually already know the roots, but let's let's treat it more as a question now. First, I'm gonna plot it out just so we can see what Q looks like. We can see the roots. We have three roots, which is expected, negative four, one, four, and then we have two extrema. So let's find all that. Now, finding the roots is pretty simple. We actually just did it above. We find roots of Q, and we can see below from how the print statement works, it actually just outputs a list. So this, this would be ready for us to plot right right here now for finding the extrema it's a little bit more complex where you have to take the derivative so if you've taken calculus you know that part of take the derivative of the function and then we actually want to find the roots of that derivative so here we'll take the roots of q prime so now we have two sets of lists one is for our roots of our function and one is the critical points of the derivative, which would be the extrema of our original function. And then next, we just wanna plot all this out. Okay, so here are the new additional lines. 
this is me, I'm also gonna plot out the derivative. So you see here, this is my Q prime. Then this is gonna be the roots. They're gonna be plotted. And then we have the extrema plotted. And we should see everything. All right, so you can see this, this pretty much worked out, right? So we have our green points. These are our roots of our function. And then our extrema were found. And if you actually correlate it with our derivative, they correlate with the critical points of our derivative or the roots of the derivative. Now, if we wanted to take another derivative, we would get a line and that would be going across and you would see a critical point somewhere around here, wherever this, this extrema is. Okay, and that's what I have for you this week. Now, small pause, I guess some sappy stuff. I, I from my last video going to this one, I actually just crossed 100 subscribers I did not expect that to happen. I truly appreciate any support and any feedback you guys are giving me. It's uh, all this is just to help me get better at teaching, but I also want to cover topics I feel weren't covered super great in my undergrad. So it's meant to be a stepping stone. If you're planning to go into either higher upper division coursework or just, or into grad school, I guess, uh, any of this stuff. Hopefully this will help me get better at learning this stuff because the best way of learning is by teaching or so I've been told. <laughs> That's what I have for you this week. If you liked what I've been doing, please give this video a like and subscribe. I have links to my IG and Twitter in the description. I'll be posting weekly announcements about the channel. If you have any other Julia libraries that you want me to cover, please send them my way and I'll see you guys next week.